This past September, I finally went back to my home country of Peru. It had been 10 long years since my last visit there. I definitely had a lot of mixed feelings going back there, especially now that I'm engaged and I was taking my fiancé to meet my home and family for the first time. I was probably definitely overthinking the entire event because that is just part of what I do. I was excited, apprehensive, happy, worried, scared even. Perhaps I was just trying to think of how everything would turn out and if my fiancé would actually like and accept where I was about to take him. After moving to the US when I was 14, I visited my home country again a few times until I was 20 years old. That was the last time I would set foot there again until just one month ago. Now I'm 30, engaged, and I guess for a while now have been officially an adult. If I must be honest, I went through some sort of reverse culture shock the first times I went back. Probably because, like it or not, everyone gets used to the lifestyle of where you've lived long enough. And also because I was very young and tended to idealize certain things about my home country just because I was very homesick when I first moved to the US. I confused loving your own home country with thinking that everything over there must be perfect. That sort of expectation could only have left a lot of room for disappointment. Not only because, as everything else in life, things change and evolve. Naturally, not everything you remember as a kid will stay the same 20 years down the road. Coming to terms with that took me a while. But looking back, this has been the most unforgettable trip I have done so far. I think I've matured and grown quite a lot in the last 10 years. I mean, it was about time, right? Now I know that where I grew up was in no way perfect, and everything that I witnessed as a kid is not necessarily ideal by US standards. However, I think this last trip I made gave me a sense of finding my roots again. I have always been a very proud Peruvian, which I think is something that happens to many immigrants who have to leave their homeland to look for a more stable future. But I believe this especially happens to Peruvians who relocate. This could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how far someone takes it. We, as a country, have gone through a lot, and like I told my boyfriend, seeing my country get better over the years makes me as happy as if my own life was getting significantly better. Seeing my family again was the most exhilarating feeling I've had. I can't even begin to describe it. It brought so many memories, and thankfully, they're all the best and happiest memories I have in this frame of mind. There are definitely still many problems back home due to political unrest, poverty, chaos, and I'm sure many other things. But the feeling I had walking through the streets I used to walk when going to school with my sisters, or seeing the streets where I used to play soccer with my cousins and neighbors, hearing the tamales vendors on Sunday mornings offering through their megaphones their delicious tamales, seeing my entire family dancing as if they were on a TV competition, seeing that old grandmas were always going to the neighborhood market to make lunch for their kids and grandkids, or the stray dogs walking around the streets with t-shirts and sweaters that usually have a Peruvian soccer team in it. All those sights just gave me that indescribable feeling of melancholy that still chokes me up a little bit. Perhaps I'm being overly dramatic, but then again, Peruvians are overly dramatic. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm definitely very thankful for having been able to go back home, to see my land again, eat the delicious food I miss so much. Hugging my grandpa and dad again. Meeting my little sister for the first time.
taking my forever partner with me and telling him all about my life over there. And maybe, just maybe, our life there one day. I definitely hope to be back very soon so I can collect more memories. So when I'm old and gray, I can go back to my happy place, wherever I am in the world. There are certain things you just can't buy, and those things definitely include happy memories with your loved ones. Don't waste any time missing making more memories with the people you care about. Those are the things that will definitely stick with you and which will really force you to reevaluate what's truly important in life. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little snapshot of my trip back home. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next time everyone.